Are you a math person? Do you love numbers? You have come to the right show. Welcome to Miss Miller's Math Show, where our class of students will unfold the truth of math problems. Welcome and enjoy the show. tomorrow. Let's have a cheer for that. Last set of notes for Okay, so we today are doing composition of functions. That's what I am about to go into. What's with the music notes? Let's think how many of us clap or make some noise. Everybody pay attention. Shh. Clap or make some noise if you are a musician. Or make noise if you are a dancer. Okay, clap or make noise if you are a visual artist. Okay, and clap or make noise if you are um, in. Oh yeah. Both both you. Well, that's music still. If you're undecided, if you're undecided. I was about to go there. Okay, clap or make noise if you are an actor or actress. Okay. Singing is part of music, so do we want to do music again now that you all know that singing is part of music? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so clap or make noise if you are a musician. Okay, so the entire class is musicians. All right, so here we go. Let's think about music for a second. How many people clap or make noise if you have heard the word composition in the the uh, context of music. Okay, so can somebody give me a rundown in music of what a composition is? What do we think, Tyler? Okay, when you write a piece of music, good. Anyone else have another another description of a composition? Okay. Um, so let's just take the idea that Tyler had and kind of expound upon it. If it's a piece of music that's been written down, is it safe to say that you have a bunch of notes that are all put together to make a one giant song? You have to put it in a certain order. Organized. Make it organized. What's that? It has to be organized. Okay, it has to be organized. Jiro? Okay, good. Good. Can you say that louder so the camera can pick it up? A composition is pretty much just like music that is one thing. Yeah. Music that is one thing, folks. Music that is one That's thing. Okay, all right. Yay, Jiro. Okay, so, um, all right. Composition. That's a combination of notes, a combination of um, vocals, a combination of things to make one giant thing, okay? So, in the context of music, it's a combination of notes, a combination of instruments, combination of vocals to make one big song. Composition of functions, what do we think that is? Combined functions. That's good. Give it up for Tyler. Combination of functions. Combinate. We're all tired. We had a fire drill last period and everybody's wiped out now. We had to walk out to the field or blacktop. Oh, yeah, I nearly fell out of my seat. And some of us nearly fell down, so it's been an interesting morning. Okay, so here we go. What we're doing here, combination of functions, we are literally combining multiple functions together, okay? So if we have two functions, functions f of x and g of x, one composition, the way that it looks, is f of g of x. So that's f parentheses g parentheses x and then double parentheses. And another composition is g of f of x. What's that? Okay, because you're just, um, 
You don't have square brackets in any of these. You're literally just combining them together into one equation. So you don't need to change anything with it. The question was, why do we not have square brackets or something? It's just because you're combining them into one equation and not um, something other than that. Okay, so we're going to get some practice with this today. Let me, I have a warning for y'all. This is a disclaimer in this lesson, okay? This is one of those where if you pay attention, you will understand it, okay? It might take a couple of tries of seeing it over and over again to understand it, but you will understand it. If you do not pay attention, you won't, okay? So this is a you need to pay attention type of a lesson. Okay, they all are. They all are. You need to pay attention, but this one especially. Okay, here we go. So let's do some examples. Suppose f of x equals x squared, g of x equals x minus 3, and h of x equals 6x. We want to find a couple of things actually more than a couple of things, but first thing that we're going to find is f of g of x. Whoops, that white out. f of g of x. Is that and h of x? It's and h of x, yeah. It's f of g of x. So it's f parentheses g parentheses x. I know, I'm moving it up. f of g of x. Okay, so here's how we're going to start this f of g of x. All right. We have three letters here, right? This is where we all want to be paying attention. What are the three letters that are listed here? f, g, and x. Are those letters also listed over here in this list? Okay. Okay. Aside from the x, can somebody pick out one? If I had to pick f, g, or h, pick one of them that I want to write down here. Sloan. G. Okay, why G? Good. Okay, so there's a G here. Clap if you agree with Sloan. There's a G here, so we're going to write down G of X equals X minus 3. Clap if you agree with Sloan. Good. Okay, is there another letter here as far as equations that matches over on the left-hand side? Thane? F of X. What is F of X equal to, Thane? Uh, X squared. X squared. Okay. Clap if you agree with Thane. Cool. Now, this is the everybody, once you are done writing that down, drop your pens or pencils and focus. Because this is where it gets really easy, but only if you're paying attention. Okay? So, how many people, when looking at this, see this set of parentheses and that G is inside of the F parentheses? Clap if that makes sense to you, what I just said, that G is inside of the F point. Okay, so what we are doing is we're going down here and we're looking at the G equation and we're taking what's on the other side of the G equation and replacing, not multiplying, not adding, not dividing, we are replacing all of the variables in the F equation with whatever the G equation is. So how does that look? Let me say that a couple more times. So because the G, you all just told me, you agreed that G is inside of F here. So we're taking G down here and putting it inside of or replacing any variable with it down here. So the way that it should look is, again, we're just taking this X and replacing it with X minus 3. And then you put that squared there too. Okay? And that's it. The end. Finito. Oh, we have an applause for that. Okay. By a couple people. <laughs> okay. Questions. Let's do a couple okay, more of these. Okay, Sloan, go ahead. When you put the X, I don't know. Okay, so you replace it with X minus 3, but then you put X squared. Okay, so what are you doing? Like, I, it's Okay, you know what? I want you guys to sit on your thoughts for just a second. We're going to do another one, okay? Sit on your thoughts for just a second, and I think this is one of those that becomes a little bit more clear as you see it done a couple of times, okay? So let's try something like g of h of x. 
So, g of h of x. Okay. Somebody give me one of the equations I want to write down up here. Thane. Uh, h x equals 6x. Good. Clap if you agree with Thane. Or make noise. Okay. And so, and Thane, how did you know that h was going to be one of them? Because the letter h is the letter of the x. Good. Perfect. There's an h listed. Can someone give me another equation that I should write down? Rebecca. Y g of x. There's a g right there. So g of x equals what, Rebecca? X minus 3. Perfect. Now, if we're following the same pattern that we had up here, what I'm hoping you all notice is that the h is inside of the g. So we're going to do something with this h relative to the g equation. Alyssa? Okay, can someone tell me what they think we're going to end up doing here? Alyssa? <laughs> okay, um, so g of h of x equals, we're, repl we're only replacing this x with 6x, so it's 6x minus 3. You don't need parentheses, no. The only time you need parentheses is if you have an exponent somewhere or something. All right, how are we doing on questions? We're going to do a couple more. Clap if this is making sense to you. Okay. Clap if this is not making sense to you. Okay. Clap if you're not really sure whether it makes sense or not. <laughs> Sloan is slapping herself in the face. It's getting a little crazy in the room. Okay. All right, let's do a couple more. Let's do a couple more. It's one of those that just, it's weird, but it's not bad, and it just takes some practice. Okay, here we go. How about if, let's turn it around, and instead of finding g of h of x, let's find h of g of x, because there is a difference, g of x. h of g of x. Okay, so can somebody list what equation or equations I should be writing down in this one? Whoops. Um, Aiden. Okay. Equals what? 6x. Okay, and do you want to do the other one? What's the other one? Perfect. Okay, now, in this one, which one am I plugging into which equation? In other words, which one is in the innermost parentheses here? That's the one that gets... X minus 3. Good. Okay, so Sloan, X minus 3 goes where? In here? Okay. Okay. How many people agree that G is inside of H? Yeah. Okay. So we take the G, look at the G equation and take it and put it inside of any variable in the H equation. Okay. 6x minus 3. So we get H of G of X equals 6 times, now is where we have to do parentheses because we're multiplying. Okay. Whereas the other one, let's look back at the other one. Okay, shh, let's do some questions. Aiden? So basically, if they both have an x in them, what is your answer? There will only, always only be one x. Uh, there might be more out here somewhere, but yeah, there should be an x in there, right. Okay, if you want to distribute this to get 6x minus 18, you can do that as well. Okay, how are we doing on questions? Cole? Which numbers? They're, okay, so they start out in the original equations. Yes. Okay, yeah, Sloan. Okay, so in the first equation, you were taking 6x and putting it to x minus 3. So that's why I made 6x minus 3. So you're just replacing x into, then it was exactly. Right here. All you're doing, you're just replacing the variable with what the other equation is. It's, all, it's already an x, so you're just replacing it with 6x. Okay, everybody stop talking. Everybody stop talking. All right. Okay. 
So you're just replacing whatever the variable is in the outer equation with whatever the inner equation is, okay? So you replace, in this one, you replace the x in the h equation with all of the g stuff. Whereas this one, you replace the x in the g equation with all of the h stuff. Alyssa? You can, yeah, you get right. In the end, you simplify. Cole, what's up? Yes. Whichever one is in the inside, the innermost parentheses, that's the one that gets put into the outside one. So the G in here is inside of the H, so you take the G equation and put it into the H equation. Desi? Yes. Um, no, no. You, do, you want to if there are numbers involved, which we're about to get to. But, yeah. Other questions? Okay, here we go. Now, what if we have something like f of g of 2? No, okay, well, hold on. These are actually just as easy as what we just did. There's one last step, but that's it. Okay, so let's just, let me put my equations up here so we know what we're referencing. Okay, f of g of 2. So, can somebody tell me which two equations I want to write down here? Sloan, go ahead. Good. Perfect. Everybody make some noise for Sloan. All right. Now, if the G is inside of the F, that means we're taking which equation and plugging it into the other one? G is inside, G into F up here. G into F. G is in F here, so you put G and F down here. So we end up getting F of G of 2 equals, if I'm all I'm doing is replacing this X with X minus 3, it becomes X minus 3 squared. What two? Ah, that's where that's the last step. So, like you all are noticing, we have we don't have an x in here anymore. We have a two. So, what do we think we're gonna do with that two over on the right hand side? Put the two in. To put the two in for x. All right, nicely done. So it's two minus three squared. And what is everybody? What's two minus three? Negative one. Negative one. What's negative one squared? One. One. So f of g of two is one. All right, how are we doing on questions? Okay, I'm going to put up two more of these and ask for some contestants. So let me put them up first, and then you guys can decide if you want to come up and show how to do it. All right? Talking about math. Yes, we are. Okay, let's see. The fifth one. Let's do, how about H of G of 4? H of G of 4. And... The one after that, hmm. let's do f of f of, yes, there are two f's there. f of f of, um, let's do negative 2. f of f of negative 2. All right, everybody send us off to break. We will be back with our contestants. Woo! First contestant, everybody give it up for Sloan. Hey, Sloan.
charges hitting fees on my cell phone bills and even on my taxes all we gotta do is put in a little practice from the plumbers to the teachers and even the physicians the doctors and the lawyers and even the musicians counting down like one two three four we can hear it on the beat and even read it on the score some say a waste of time what are they doing it for so they ain't gonna end up again the sweeping up the floor shout out to miss miller and even mr b miss barnett and mr humphreys from algebra 2 to trigonometry if it wasn't for math then where would we be yeah. shout out to miss miller uh -huh. and even mr uh -huh. b miss barnett and mr humphreys Hi. study study all right you guys everybody send us off Woo! 